One of the greatest to ever do it is back. Let's get into it. Torture talk, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate, the link is in the description to the Cash App, PayPal. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. Y'all know what it is. Today I want to review the new Alicia Keys album. But before we get into that, make sure y'all hit that like button, share, tell your family about me. Know what it is. All right. So. Alicia Keys drops an album. Alicia. All right, Alicia Keys is a New York-based artist who I would consider one of the top 20 artists of all time. Alicia Keys is amazing. I think that she is one of those artists that has been appreciated for this time clearly top maybe top five of this era maybe top 10 maybe top five somewhere now i could make an argument for top five of this era so alicia keys to me uh is somebody that i always look forward to her material um her first album to me was first second third album certified classics to me like those albums to me really touch me especially our first and second album the third album too so alicia keys piano player you know what it is all right get into this review man all right i really wasn't feeling this album i'm a very big alicia keys fan and I'm not going to say I was disappointed because Alicia Keys is very artistic and she's creative. But I'm just going to say it wasn't a good album. This wasn't a good album. I don't think that... I won't even go as far as saying she didn't put her best foot forward. I just think that maybe the allure that I had for Alicia Keys has probably died out. You know what I'm saying? I can recognize that she is still one of the greatest of all time. But maybe it just... At this point in her career... Maybe I just think that she just should just, I don't know, just stop making music for a little bit. Or do something different. Because maybe I can say with this album, she did try something different. And it just wasn't for me. It just was, some of the songs that just wasn't good. Like, some of the songs are just like, this, I think this is probably the most, the album that she had the most features on, ever. And I think it took away from her. I think those features actually took away from her. And on top of that, I really didn't hear no pianos on this album. Like, I don't know if she was experimenting with other stuff, but there was no pianos on this album. And that's what she's good at. I like that about her. I just think that it was just like, like, come on. Come on, Alicia. Like, some of the stuff was like, I'm listening to this and I'm like, this this sounds like C cuts. It don't even sound like B cuts. It sounds like C cuts. Like, I don't know. There was one song on there that I thought was incredible. And that was the second to the last song. That song was incredible. Incredible song. I think that she really, really, and that's her lean. That's what she needs to be. All these other songs, I think, was just more trial and error songs, or maybe she just got bored or something. Because I don't think Alicia Keys is an artist that can actually make bad material. I just think that she probably just got bored, or just was like, oh, let me just, I got some songs that I could just put out. Like, because she's, to me, she's too talented to make bad material. Even with this album, I'm criticizing. It's, it's, to me, it's not, but I could understand why people like it because the song structure is still good, but it's just, I don't know. I just lost my allure for Alicia Keys, uh, music, I should say, 
when it comes to this type of music. Because if she goes back to like the pianos and the Beethoven, come on, she's unstoppable doing that. I just think that this that this here is like this ain't it. You know what I'm saying? So as far as the production goes, the production was so so part of me. I didn't really like the beats on this album. I thought some of them was bland. It wasn't really complete. I was like, okay, like, this is okay. This is okay. This is okay. But it wasn't nothing that was like, okay, yeah, this right here is moving. Like, it just didn't move me. Like, some of the stuff didn't move. And then the sound quality was cool. Sound quality was, the sound quality was good. It was good. I don't want to say it was the high point of the album, but it was good. And of course, Alicia Keys' lyrics are, are good. Of course. But just because you have good lyrics doesn't mean that the song is pretty good. It's like you can have good lyrics, but the song can still be just a bad song. Like, it could just not sound good. It could just not flow well. Like, it's a whole bunch of different dynamics when it comes to this type of stuff. So, I don't know. Just putting it out there. I just think that the allure I had for Alicia Keys is, is kind of dwindling away. You know what I'm saying? I still think that she's incredible, but I'm not going to be running out to listen to her music anymore, I should say. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, listen. Strong six. Pushing up to a seven. I think Alicia Keys uh, you better than Go back to doing the piano samples. I think that's where your strong suit is at. And that's when you make your incredible music. I think this here is just something you just threw together. Now, that as far as the meaning of the music, it's something different. If I could just say, okay, yeah, if I can just tell you that the, the meaning of the songs is good, I can say that. Like, But strong six. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Take it back, Alicia.